Okay, welcome to an adventure map I'm calling Miners vs. Mobs that I made on Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. So it starts right here, you must be this tall to enter, and you go through these fence gates that isn't there anymore, because I deleted it, I guess. But then you continue down here, and you come to this trail being blocked. So you have to find another way around, which isn't too hard, I mean, you can just build your way around. It is Minecraft, after all. But, yes, you go around, you follow the gold brick road, and you will eventually get to another obstacle, which I'll probably get to pretty soon. Okay, right here you find that the gold seems broken, so you must find the trail again. And so you can search around a little bit, it shouldn't take you really too long to find the trail again, because it's just hidden right behind like one rock. Yeah, there it is. So, you can continue along the gold trail. And when you come down here, you find that you have to pull this lever to get rid of the fence. And so, yeah, you pull the lever, and it's a trap. You fall into water, and then you have to get through the trap, find the glowstone, and then get out the other side. So, yeah, more yellow brick road following. And then you get to a checkpoint, which has a lot of stuff in it. You can open it. It's pretty nice made out of sandstone. So there are a bunch of beds, and the trail continues under one of those beds. So you're going to have to keep breaking beds till you find the trail. And here is the trail. So you'll have to continue along the trail. As I've said many times, it's a trail. I mean, common sense. Uh, push past those pigs. They hopefully won't be there when you're actually playing the actual m adventure map. So yeah, continue along the trail. The trail. More of the trail. Did I mention the trail? Yeah, so keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I keep clipping, unfortunately. But yeah, you'll keep going on the trail, and it won't be too long before you find another checkpoint. Right over here, there are beds on the roof to the left, if you see them. And you can rest on those, and then you have to find the gold tra trail again, which it's right there. I mean, it's protruding out of the ground. It's not too hard to find. So yeah, you'll go up the gold trail, follow some more trail, trail, trail. Yeah, you see Banjo running along the trail. Follow the trail even more, and then you find you have to build across. Which, I mean, you could do either one. You could build or you can, like, parkour your way across, but I think you'd prefer the building at the point. So yeah, you continue along the trail. You'll find a fork in the road pretty soon coming up. And this fork actually leads you to the Ender Pearl, which is going to be important later on in the map. So yeah, hopefully you'll go that way. You'll have to build, dig around this obsidian, and you'll get this Ender Pearl right here. I, I guess you guys can't see it, but yeah, it's an Ender Pearl right there. So yeah, you leave there, go all the way around, and continue following the trail. And, uh, you'll see why this trail is so long later on when I introduce another part of the game. So, yeah, you'll continue following the trail. This is pretty much the longest part. Gives people a lot of opportunity to actually kill you. But, hopefully you slept in that checkpoint, or else you might be in trouble. Just saying. So, yeah, here's the, um, this is the mob hotel. Which, all the mobs just come and gather in. And just have a great old time. No miners involved, no miners allowed, and then you're in. We have a receptionist, a really nice receptionist, that guy, that guy works day and night. So yeah, then you'll go up these minecart systems, and in each room another mob resides. And this is where the other aspect of the game comes in. There, it's a PvP map, so while you're doing the adventure map, it's the mobs, you get, there are going to be four people doing the adventure map, four people being mobs, and the mobs will have opportunities to kill the miners. So as you see, there are different classes of mobs. There is the cave spider that was shown previously, and the skeleton that was also shown previously. And we'll keep going through these mob rooms. Here's the slime room. Uh, they will have a bunch of slime spawner eggs, which could end up killing themselves. And now here's the enderman room which has a bunch of ender pearls, which could also actually self-destruct if not used carefully. Um, you know, ender pearls take, they take damage every time they use them, so. Another thing I'm planning on adding to the, um, map later on is some food, just to keep the mobs energized and not dying of hunger. So here's the zombie room, 
Uh, pretty standard stuff, actually. This is probably one of the most generic rooms. You just get a chain helmet, chain pants, and an iron sword. And then over here, we have the pigment room, where you get a gold chest plate and a gold sword. Here, there's the pigment room. And I'm pretty sure this next room is actually the last room. It's like the ultra room. It's the grand finale, pretty much. It is the creeper room, right here. And inside, you'll find all of the redstone mechanisms and TNT that you could ever desire, pretty much. And in here, in the hero run room, actually, you will find that you don't have to do anything. Well, you do have to do anything. We don't start with anything, and your objective is to just sabotage the miners any way possible. And to win the game, the miners have to go through this hotel, place this under eye here, and they have won the game. So, yeah, it's a pretty exciting game, usually pretty fun. Me, Doughboy, and Hayden have played it before, and we've had plenty of fun on the map. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's not complete. So, I'd like it if you guys leave co left comments about the map, about how I could improve the map. And in the meantime, there's that's pretty much it. And, um, yeah, there's some snow there, there's banjo, so, bye!